Hi, my name's Emma, and I'm a huge book nerd. You're my library, always open for business, but you never show it. You're just sitting with it, but I know the score, and you're killing it. Today, I'm going to do the first video in a new series that I hope to start doing. That's going to be a monthly TBR, but the idea with my monthly TBR is that I'm trying to read books that have been on my Goodreads TBR for a long time, specifically since last year around the time that my reading really started, which was like about a year and a half ago. I currently have 202 books on my to read list on Goodreads. It's constantly growing and I can't keep up with it and there are just some books that like get stuck on there and I just never get to them and then I kind of like lose my desire to read them because they've been there for so long, you know? It's a thing that happens. I'm hoping to kind of try to remedy that and start reading books that have been stuck on my TBR for way too long. So since we are already a little bit into August, I've already read a few books. The first being a lot, The Lost World, the second book in the Jurassic Park series. And then on audiobook, I listened to My Brilliant Friend. I also listened to Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham. And finally, physical copy, I read The Nest, which I actually just finished today. That's by Cynthia Diaprix Sweeney. Not sure that's how you pronounce her name, but that's what it looks like, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the books that have been stuck on my TBR since February 2016, which is when I started using Goodreads. The first book on my TBR that I could find at my library is The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. <laughs> no idea if that's how you say her name. But this is a really boring looking copy because it's just a library edition, so it's, you know, boring. I'm already two chapters into this and I really am enjoying it so far. And I'm sad that this has been stuck on my list for a year and a half because I'm really glad that I got around to it. So, yay! The next book on my list that I could find at my library today uh, is Just One Day by Gail Foreman. And I don't know a lot about this book other than it's a young adult contemporary romance where a girl spends a day with a man she meets in, I believe she's in Paris, either that or she's like traveling around with him just for one day. I've heard that this deals more with the aftermath of her one day of romance, which sounds personally more interesting to me than her like one day fling with this guy. I don't know. I'm really curious to see how I feel about this. It's one that if I don't get it read this month, I might just remove it from my TBR because YA contemporary romance really isn't my style anyways. So if I don't find the motivation, I'm not gonna be heartbroken. The next book I didn't have to find at the library because I own it, and that's The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. And I really know very little about this book. I think it's that he's an older man and he receives a letter from someone from his youth and he goes on a journey to find her or something like that. Don't quote me, I could be very, very wrong, but I don't really want to learn any more about this book because I think it's kind of fun to go into books a little more blind. In the August wrap up, I'll let you know what I think. Hopefully I can actually stick to this and get this read in August. The next book on my TBR that I found at my library was Never Let Me Go, and I am not even going to try to pronounce this author's name because it is really, I would just offend someone. This book has been on my TBR for a long time, and at one point I remember being really excited about reading it, and now I don't really remember why, because the synopsis doesn't really sound that exciting to me. I'll just read it for you, because I know nothing about the book. In one of the most acclaimed and original novels of recent years, author, <laughs> imagines the lives of a group of students growing up in a darkly skewed version of contemporary England. Narrated by Kathy, now 31, Never Let Me Go hauntingly dramatizes her attempts to come to terms with her childhood at the seemingly idyllic Halesman School and with the fate that has always awaited her and her closest friend in the wider world. A story of love, friendship, and memory, Never Let Me Go is charged throughout with a sense of fragility of life. So this sounds kind of interesting, but I don't remember why I was so excited about this. But when I read it in the wrap up, I'll let you know what I thought. And I really hope I like it because I haven't read a five star book in a while and I'm ready. Give me a five star, please. 
And the last book that's been stuck on my TBR for way too long, and by that I mean basically since my childhood, is Artemis Fowl. I never read the Artemis Fowl series when I was a little kid, and I just kind of feel like I should, because I, I just, I need to understand that part of everyone else's childhood reading experience. And I think this will be a fun, like, quick, easy read for me when I get kind of bogged down with some of the more contemporary fiction that I'm reading this month. So, cheers. I hope I like this. So that's the stack of books that I plan to read in the rest of August. I've already read four if you count audiobooks. I'm excited to actually do a TBR because usually I just pick up whatever I feel like. Hopefully doing a TBR won't put me in a reading slump. I'm a little bit afraid it will, but I'm literally going to go outside and set up a blanket and power through as much of this as I can right now because I'm in a reading mood and I'm excited about this book right now and I just want to get as much reading done as possible so I don't die when school starts and get scared because I have a TBR now and it's frightening. So if you've read any of these books that are on my TBR and you like them, please comment down below to get me excited about reading them because I don't know a lot about most of these books and I would love to hear some good things. I'm also kind of thinking that this TBR plan needs to have some sort of consequence, like Books and Lala when she does her like closet clean out videos and she has to get rid of the ones she doesn't read. I wonder if maybe if I don't get to these books by the end of the month, maybe I should have to remove them from my TBR. I don't know. What do you think? Should I give myself a consequence for not finishing them or should I just let it be? Let me know down in the comments what you think. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and support your fellow booktuber and her bookish nerdy thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!